I want to spend the rest of our time talking to you about the Bull on Paper, which is one of the great papers in this course. And Rudolf Bultmann wrote this paper from back in a time when the United States was still living in a degree of illusion that had been pretty well smashed over in Europe. He's writing to the German people, they, they pretty well knew that uh, God had become a crisis, or that if there was a crisis of faith, in God going on in the world, uh, right up front, the lives of people. Uh, most people in the United States in the early 60s were, they thought God was this sort of normal thing, like motherhood or something. Uh, there wasn't any crisis when they were concerned until they took this course and didn't know that there was a crisis. <laughs> Sure 
that you have something to eat tomorrow. <laughs> you want to feel some security about the next decade even with the investments and uh, whatever you can do in the plan of a rich career or a life or a mating or a hair for children, whatever you're structuring your life to be, you want to find security in it, sureness. And so this truth about our lives that we're taken up to prepare and procure what we need to be more sure about our lives. But the fact of life is that you're never completely sure. You're never completely secure that anything can happen. I mean, you know, you on an icy morning, walk out on your back porch, slip on a slick of ice, hit your head on a rock, take a trip to the hospital, and die on the way. I mean, you know, this, this, this is how sure we are. And some of you may have had close calls on the way to this course, you know, other circumstances, you know, just a, you know, that other car is coming down that lane, it's just dead, it's just a few yards away from, from your lane, and some truck driver or somebody just sort of went to sleep or, or was listening to the radio the wrong way or saw like a pretty girl across the street, may just blow out into your lane or something. Uh, but our life is, is, is not sure is not finally secure. We live before insecurity as a part of our life. And if it were up to us, we wouldn't. We are taken up and making life sure. So if it was up to me, my life would be absolutely sure. <laughs> absolutely secure. So, Wolfgang points out, there is some mysterious power going on that's making my life secure, insecure, because it's not me. If it were up to me, I would be secure, right? So it's something else, something else. Some mysterious, mysterious, enigmatic something is rendering me insecure. Got it? Anybody have any doubt about that? So Bull Barnes pointed something real, real. And then he says, that's God. Well, that shocked my Sunday school thinking. That's why I did it. Because I never really had anybody tell me that his fundamental insecurity was a gift of God or was an experience of God or had anything whatsoever to do with God. God was something else. So that was what Bullman, I believe, intended. And he was implying, of course, he's going to get to a little bit later. Why well, call that God? You know, it's real, but uh, let's call it uh, fate or nature or the devil or something. But God is just not the right word for it. Okay. <laughs> then he goes on to the next great care that human beings, all spirits, uh, care for the true and the beautiful. Now, true and the beautiful men, most times in the life which are up, you know, not down, but up. Uh, well, you're with the people that you want to be with. You're doing the things you want to do. You're eating the food you want to eat. Uh, you're healthy. Uh, the sun is shining. It's just a great day. So that you cry out of the depths of me, Oh, beautiful moment. Please tarry. I know all of you have these moments in life, but you want to tear it. But they just don't tear it. They don't last forever, even though our interior passion would have them last forever. They don't. We just don't control time. Time marches on, and our true and beautiful moments end, and some other kind of moments, maybe not so true and beautiful, come up for us to grapple with and experience. Uh, well, you may reach out there for the crank that stops time or controls time, but you won't find it because some other power, some mysterious enigma of something or other has its hand on the wheel of time. And time inevitably, and it's unstoppable, moves on to whatever's coming next. Okay. That again, we'll 
John says, is your experience of what I'm pointing to with the Word of God. And then love. He says, everybody, everybody, everybody has a great desire for love. And he just means simple things like, you like people to like you. Uh, whether it's on your Facebook or wherever. They, they just like, yes, like, 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 like. <laughs>